Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube video channel. One more time, I'm going to present to you another case, a dose K with the deep minor deep bite and uh, give the patient confident smile. So the topic is how to improve a minor deep bite case, how to improve the unusual smile to a confident patient. So let's take a look at this particular case. Patient came to the office with this tip right like this, and this is her smile at the initial state. Um, I asked her, please show me your teeth, and she cannot. She did her best. This is how she got. She cannot show her teeth. The, the reason is uh, she have um, very conscious, uh, been very conscious about her teeth, and she cannot really show everything. Uh, although her teeth is not that bad, but she cannot smile. And how do you get from here to here? Uh, so let's take a look at the inside of her mouth. She does have minor uh, teeth uh, crowded on the anterior. The art seems to be not even, but very minor. Uh, for the most part, people would be okay like this. But uh, the bottom part is, is not a problem. It lower anterior flare out. As you can see, that number is 25 is a little bit facially low rotate. Number 24, <clears throat> you can see the recession gum right there. This indicate that the, these anterior somehow flare out. And so on the incisor of number eight, seven and eight, they're not even. Number 10 and num number eight, number nine and number 10 seem to be a little longer than number uh, eight. And so what make her is um, teeth, she very feel very uncomfortable uh, of her smile. Same thing on number 10 here, you can see it facially uh, uh, in uh, facially rotate from the meso aspect. And then on this side, number seven, look pretty nice and straight. So those are minor thing, but somehow make her very uncomfortable to smile. I want to also uh, emphasize on the open mouth uh, picture here. You can also see that number, <clears throat> from this view, you can see number 20, uh, 5, 26, 27 are seem to be super erupted. And that reason why you see on the lingual side of these teeth have recession. And that's the reason why the patient have a sort of like an unusual occlusion where the, she cannot really uh, put her teeth together and show the people her smile. So let me go ahead and show you the next uh, picture here. As you can see that uh, this is her uh, fr uh, her before treatment. Uh, the art is not symmetry. Her upper art is not symmetry, and therefore um, something wrong with her smile. At she smiling, same thing on the bottom. Her uh, anterior is not a lie. I mentioned to you about the recession of number twenty five and twenty six due to the displacing of uh, super erupted of these two teeth because of the, uh, the problem of the upper that the number uh, nine and 10 seem to be uh, also uh, uh, erupted more than A and, and seven, that four, therefore these two also erupted. So <clears throat> when you do auto enough, you learn those minor things and you learn to evaluate and the reason why the patient have this, this type of problem, which is the minor problem causing a minor issue. But then if you don't take picture or closely, you cannot, uh, or, or um, uh, multiple extra photo, you cannot see the problem. So as you can see the finish, really nice art on top and bottom. We put the tip together, gave the patient uh, a straight bite, and you can see that um, straight bite with um, minimum uh, over the jet over bite, which gave the patient a much better appearance when she smile. So braces it uh, what we did for her. So you can see that now she can smile a lot uh, more confident, and uh, you can see that the. Uh, 
the result of her smile is totally different than uh, uh, her initial uh, state of smiling. She could not even show her teeth, but you can see she can try to smile very uh, a lot more easier than uh, it used to be. Um, so here is um, the intraoral photo, as you can see, I drew the line there to compare for you that you can see how uh, improvement of the occlusion plan compared to how this one is anchored down this way and got the deep eye compared to this picture here. Less deep eye on, on the right side after the treatment and more deep eye right before we start on the, the left side here. That's give you her the problem that we fix the patient. And so, and you can see again, this is side view. Um, there is rotation here, le less rotation here, straight teeth. And sometimes when you look at these pictures, you, cannot, you don't see much different on the, the before and after picture, but you can see on the other view. Um, so uh, you can see more straight uh, occlusion, uh, and these are more canker on this side. So here is the before um, she um, have braces and this is after she have a lot more confident of her look, uh, wearing uh, earring, try to improve herself with a great smile. I just wanna go back to show you, this is what we have, this is before and this is after. You can see a broader smile, broader smile, a lot more broader smile from the corner of the, uh, the teeth here, you can see a much broader art than this one. And you can see that that's how so you get the nice smile right there. And anyway, you guys, uh, I would like to um, do a quick uh, video and I just want you to continue watching this. Uh, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, let me know. And uh, I am all for online continuing education and free education for all um, dental hygienists, dental assistants, uh, new dentists want to learn about uh, how you can recommend a patient the way to go, the most conservative approach, which is orthodontic treatment, you guys. Thank you again for watching. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.